Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cult of the Dead Dove podcast, episode 6. I'm your host Jay, and I'm all alone today, but we will persevere. Today, we're going to be talking about my favorite Michigan cryptid, melon heads. You're probably thinking, I've never heard of that. You're crazy. Yes, but this story is so weird and wacky and kind of funny. And I want to share it with you guys. Also, apologies for any background noise. I do have other people in the house, and I don't have a fancy studio. So we're just going to have to work with it. And uh, I'm just going to jump right in. Melon heads, um, where do I even start? I learned about it first last summer, or this summer, because time has no meaning. Where my friend and I were on a road trip and we wanted to know if there are any cryptids in Michigan because we'd never heard of any. And we found these guys and we thought it was the weirdest thing in the world. And it is. So, you're probably thinking, what the heck is a melon head? Well, (laughs) it is uh, humanoid figures that are small with large mm, disfigures formed heads that are said to creep around the woods of both Allegan County in Michigan and Ottawa County. Now, you're probably thinking that's dumb and weird, and yes, but the story behind it is even weirder, if you can believe it. In one article, there's a quote Where this guy says, you do hear stories of older people saying, well, when I was a teenager in the 1950s, we would be out there and see glowing eyes in the woods or we might see something. And you're thinking, well, what was that? It was the melon heads. Now, let me, let me explain what a melon head is other than what they physically look like. You're probably thinking, where did they come from? Um, why are there essentially children with big heads running around in the forest. So, legend has it that there were children who lived in an asylum near a uh, felt mansion that had hydrocephalus. Sure. Um, which is a real condition where excess fluid in the brain causes the head to grow to abnormal sizes. But that doesn't explain why they're living in the woods and eating people. There's an explanation. Supposedly, they were in a insane asylum. I believe it was called Junction Insane Asylum near Felt Mansion. And there was a, of course, evil doctor who was there and was conducting experiments on them. Which caused them to go crazy. And they supposedly turned on him and killed and ate the doctor. So really fun start. However, there was never an asylum in the area. So that's probably not true. But there was a prison. So, you know, you could argue that it still happened at the prison because the whole point of cryptids is suspension of disbelief. So we're going to pretend that it's real. Um, another story is that the Felt Mansion was once used as a Catholic school and possibly town folk referred to the kids who were there as melon heads because they were quote-unquote smarter Um, They came from money, so they were rich and had big heads. But that one is not as exciting as the other. So now, supposedly, there are a group of children that are very small with really, really big heads. And they just run around uh, Michigan. And, uh attack people and supposedly eat them. They supposedly now live in a series of tunnels, which is also fun. Um, 
in the actual mansion, there are rumors that teenagers had broken in and saw ghosts of the children and claimed to see shadows of the doctor's murder. This is also, this legend is also in Ohio and Connecticut, and all of the stories are pretty much the same. But let's just look at Connecticut's version because... It somehow gets weirder. So according to one variation of the myth, Fairfield County in Connecticut had an asylum for the criminally insane that had burned down. Um, But there were 20 unaccounted inmates who supposedly survived and then escaped to the woods. And because they escaped and they were like, we're not going back, obviously, they ended up turning to cannibalism to survive and uh, had a lot of inbreeding, which caused them to develop the hydrocephalasis, which makes your head really big because your brain has like too much fluid in your head. Um, so that's one version. Another one is that melon heads are descendants of witches. Now, when I say witches, I just mean people who were accused of witchcraft, like, hundreds of years ago, that ended up retreating to the woods and once again had inbreeding and then fed on people who wandered into their territory. So, I don't know what Connecticut's on. (laughs) Something interesting. In Ohio, the legend is um, mostly the same, but they've got a fun version where (laughs) they were orphans under watch of a mysterious figure only known as Dr. Crow who was said to perform unusual experiments on the children who developed large hairless heads and malformed bodies. Cute. Um, Or they were already suffering from that disease, and then he injected even more fluid into their brains for funsies. And then at the end, you know, the children turn on Dr. Crow, burn down the orphanage, and then retreat to the woods to eat babies. <laughs> Which, I don't know why, but it's there. Now, <laughs> there ended up being a movie. And I say movie loosely because I've never seen it and I've never heard of it. It's called The Melon Heads. It's... From 2011. It's uh, only 53 minutes long. And I uh, can't even find photos of it. Now today, you supposedly can like see glimpses of them in the woods or hear feet running. Um, which even if it's not them, that's still terrifying. Because if you're in the woods and you hear feet, like if you hear people running... I would still be panicked, because that's terrifying. That is all that I have for you guys today. I'm very sorry that this episode is so short. I promise next week will be a little bit more fleshed out, but I'm still, you know, I got a life to live, and I just got really busy this week, so next week will be much better. I promise. If you want to follow the podcast, you can find us on Twitter and Facebook at Dead Dove Cult or Instagram at The Cult of the Dead Dove Podcast. If you have a story you want me to talk about, you can email me at The Cult of the Dead Dove Podcast at gmail.com. We're still working on a website and getting Patreon all figured out as I'm trying to learn uh, time management skills. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that everyone is doing well. Uh, Now that the election is over, we can breathe a little bit. So, yes, stay safe, take care of yourself, and remember, don't eat the dead dove.
see you guys next Friday.